I'm actually getting my hair done for the first time today ever. I've never been to a salon before. I've never got my hair professionally done, cut, colored, nothing. So this is what it's starting like. Just brown, nothing crazy. Um, I've waited to get it done till all of this red tint was out of my hair that I had done years ago. And now that it's out, I can get it done. It's actually gonna be done by my boyfriend's stepmom's salon, so to be continued. So I got my hair done for the first time ever. And hopefully I can Mama. show you guys like the color in Mama. white. What? Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, hopefully I can show you guys the color in light, but my hair's done. And I feel like Hello, a new um, person. I feel like a new mom. I feel like I can actually get ready and like go out and feel good because in high school I didn't really have to do my hair. Um, it was very curly. I just had to put product in it. But now obviously it's changed. And since I had Lila, it definitely needs different maintenance and it needs to have a hairstyle. So I'm like really excited to learn how to do it, what to use, things like that. So I'll probably be sharing a little bit of that as I learn. Lila, can you turn your sound machine off? No. Hello. Right now I'm actually getting ready for an overnight, so I figured I would show you guys what that looks like. And if you guys are new here, welcome. I'm a birth and postpartum doula in New Jersey, and I bring my experiences here to you guys to hopefully help newer doulas and kind of spread the word about what we do, what that looks like, and things like that. If you've been here, what up? Talk about this sweatshirt real quick. This is from Airy and it was on sale. Like I never ever spend money on loungewear and when I do it's from Marshalls, it's like bargain, like cheap stuff. Um, I get basics from Forever 21, I get basics from thrifting. I'm just realizing like I've felt so blah lately and it's because I wasn't keeping up with my hair, I wasn't keeping up on what I was wearing and I feel like yeah of course it's materialistic in a sense but in another way too it's just like kind of letting us go like when we don't put that effort in even if most of our work is in lounge clothes like if you're a doula you know that most of the time we're comfortable and we're not trying to impress anybody and we're not trying to like get dressed up for what we do because what we do is not about how we look so like i feel more confident i feel like i'm putting effort in and it's okay to splurge once in a while like i need to tell myself that as a mom i typically run out for an overnight between around 7 and 8 p.m and i get back in the morning between 6 and 7 a.m depending on what area i'm coming from but i just wanted to show you guys what i bring with me to my overnights because at first i like didn't really know what to bring but now that I'm kind of been doing it for a little while and I have a better sense of how I am during an overnight, I have brought some things that have made the experience a little bit more me. So I'm like a really morning routine type of girl and missing my morning routine is difficult for me because when I get home from an overnight, I just sleep. And by the time I wake up, it's like almost lunchtime and my morning's gone and I don't have that morning routine vibe and sometimes I can pick it back up in the afternoon other times I can't so 
I have started to bring with me my journals and my books that I read in the morning to kind of give me a taste of my morning routine even though it's not what it is when I'm home and I've slept all night. So I just bring my journey to the heart. This is just like a daily excerpt on something that makes me think and makes me feel grateful or reflect or every day it's different. So it just depends on what the day is. But I like to start my day with this. And I like to start my day with my Jesus Calling. And this is one of my favorite books to start the day with because it allows me to just release the anxiety or worry that I'm holding on to or talk to God more during the day. So it's a nice reminder to start the day. And also on like long drives to and from clients, I actually talk to God a lot. Like I take that time to take like 10 minutes out of the drive and just talk out loud about everything I'm feeling. And it's really therapeutic. It's like my mini own like therapy session. The other thing I bring with me and what I bring my stuff in is my bag. My work bag, I bring my laptop in there, I bring um, this little bag with like my toothbrush and my contact stuff and things like that in there. And I also bring a pen and a journal in case I feel like writing or have some ideas that I want to jot down once I put the baby to sleep and I'm just kind of with myself for a few hours. So I like to do some things that are therapeutic, nice, I'll work on a training, I'll do something that's more lax or something that I've been wanting to do but don't have too much time during the day to do. So it really just depends on what the nights look like. But I've been able to bring my laptop and kind of get a little bit of stuff here and there done if that's something that I want to do. I'm holding this really weird because I have my phone in my armpit. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. But I also bring a granola bar or something that's like a quiet little snack and a refillable water. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm just 20 regular, please. 20? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 